Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Built Not Bought Campers. Today, we've got a customer coming into the workshop, and we're going to be fitting some windows and roof vents. Yes, windows and roof vents again. I know I've already put a video out on this, but I thought since it's a different van and completely different to the one before, I'll show you what I'm doing. Anyway, we're just waiting for the customer to arrive, and as soon as he arrives, we'll crack on with a video and show you exactly what we're going to do today. And part of this video will be ripping out, I say not ripping out, that's the worst bit. No, no. We're going to be removing an already bonded window to be replaced by another one. So yeah, um, it's a very interesting day. That's something we haven't done in the workshop yet and put out on a video. Right, so the vehicle is now here. And it is a Vauxhall Movano. I don't know why I was expecting a Gigato. Maybe I got that. I don't know why. I have no idea. But so today, what we will be fitting, and I will show you, is one vent, two vents. So the max fan is going to be going at the front here, and the Hakey or the Dometic is going to be going at the back. As you can see, there's a window over there. That window is being removed and being replaced with a window with a slider in it. And on this side, we've been putting a window in there as well. So we have a busy day. And I will do some filming, but not a lot, obviously, because I've got a lot to do and a lot to get on with. The first thing we need to do on this van Let's cut this centre bar out so we can cut the window. Right, so what I've done, sorry it's so dark in here. Let's move the light a little bit. On the door, you can see I've drilled a hole here, so we can cut along. I'm actually going to drill a hole here, 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 and all the way round, and then we'll cut the window out. So you can see the holes are cut. All we've got to do now is cut, join them holes up almost. Right, I don't know what happened then, but the camera the battery died. Right, so what we need to do now, I've cut the hole, is I need to treat the edges of the bare metal. And I've got this little touch up, silver touch up, which I'm gonna use. I know it's a bright yellow van, but I've only got a silver touch up. Anyway, it'll be hidden because you won't see it because it'll be under the trim. And breathe. Select a song. <laughs> that's the edges of that metal treated. While I wait for that to dry, we're going to go on the roof and cut the holes for the roof vents. 
Right, so we're up on the roof of the van. Let me show you what I've already done. So what I've done so far is I've marked it out, as you can see under the tape here. This little hole here was drilled from inside, so I had a marker point of where I was starting the back of the, the vent. And I've drawn the lines. This is a 400 by 400 aperture, for which the Hakey skylight is gonna be put into. I've drilled four holes in the corners, and I'm now gonna join these up with an air saw. So, PPE. Need to fit that. But first of all, we've got to cut the other hole at the front before we can fit this one. drilled a hole from the inside as a locator hole, locator hole because the customer specified where he wanted the roof light because between the roof, both roof lights he's going to have solar panels so he wants to make sure he's got plenty of room to uh, install the solar panels when he gets them but first of all as you can see like any other roof it is filthy bit of alcohol spray Also, I understand from the customer, his mates take the mickey out of his van. And it's called, this van is named the Yellow Peril. But to all his mates, there's nothing wrong with his van, leave his van alone. And now it's becoming YouTube famous, this van. There you go, not have lovely and clean. Right, 
Right, as you see, I measured out a 400 by 400 hole. And what I'm going to do, the same as I did up the other end, we drill four holes and then join up the dots. One thing to remember when you're cutting holes in the top of your van, any little bits of swarf, any little bits of metal filings, anything, make sure you get them off your roof. Otherwise you end up with these little rust spots all over your roof. And trust me, they do not look nice and they will eat through your body eventually. Not your body, but your van's body. So remember, even when you're doing stuff inside, like drilling through into the inside of the van, Underneath this, I have a dust sheet catching all the metal filings, anything to avoid anything staying in the van or getting on the floor, getting on the walls, anywhere. You do not want this stuff hanging around. My, what I would say is, once you put your roof rents in and they're stuck down and you're happy with them, leave them a few days to settle in and any sealant to dry, give your roof a wash off. And trust me, it's worth it. You can, like we blow it off here, we'll clean it off as much as we can but you know you don't want one hanging around so my suggestion would be after a few days wash the top of your roof and um, make that a day to job a job to do in a day you know if you have to wash your whole roof off it saves you having that problem believe me and there's a few youtubers out there have done videos on this mel from Val mel's van life bless him Heart goes out to him at the moment because he, as far as I know in his last video, he was still in the hospital, suffering badly. And, you know, get well, Mel. Hope you're all right. And hopefully see you back on your feet soon. So. All I need to do now is get the air saw back and cut the rest of this hole out. Right, so now comes the interesting bit. Removing this window. And somebody said to the customer that smashing it out is the easy way to do it. Now that sounds a little bit aggressive. So we do it the proper way. So what we've done, use this wire. And this special tool, which the wire attaches to, and then it pushes in, side and through the sealant. So then we pull the wire through, put two handles on it, and basically use like a sawing motion around all the sealant. Now that's gonna be quite difficult for me to film and take out the window. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll take out the window and I'll come back to you once it's out. But I wanted to explain to you how, when we get the wire through, so it's on both sides, and I don't know if you can see through that window or not, you can see that going through and it's just poked through and it's removed the inside trim as well. So, fingers crossed, we can get this out without an issue. As long as we do, I'll show you. And even if we don't, I'll show you. Right, I'll be back to you shortly. Right, and the fitting kit that comes with the two windows, because there's two windows going in, is two of these alcohol wipes. That one's open because I'm just about to use it. And also, the primer for the window and for the door. 
Um, two applicator buds. And two tubes. With window bonding. If I've seen one of these boxes, I've probably seen a dozen of these boxes in my lifetime. Right, so what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to clean off around where I've cut the aperture in the window. I'm going to use this also to clean around the window itself. Right, I'm just going to clean around the window and I'll be back. Right, just to show you that you need to clean these windows and the door with this. Now that gives it a nice clean surface to for it gives a nice clean surface for the primer to stick to and also the sealant to seal the window in. This stuff you've got to shake forever. <laughs> Right, so while I'm drinking a cup of tea, I thought to myself, I'll give you a quick sh show you around the van. So, as you can see, we sprayed some special stuff on it to get rid of a lot of all the gunk and to clean it up and prep, prep it, put the primer on, put the other window in. And look, you can see straight through, straight through the other side. Pretty standard inside at the front here, as all Movanos are. And I know my mate Darren's looking at this thinking now, go on, get things wrong. So he can pick me up on it. I know he is. I'm not going too technical with this one, Darren. Right. He's got gold alloy wheels. Oh no. It's a ball bar. Yeah, the amount of controversy that I caused on one of my videos, all because I fitted one on the front of here. Anyway, back to the Mavano. So, yes, it's got a ball bar on it. And it's a short wheelbase. 2007 or 57 plate. Two holes in the roof now. Started some of the insulation, sound deadening, and I noticed he was using Dodo Mat for the sound deadening. So yeah, he's been talking about the ideas he's got for beds and bits and pieces on this van, and it sounds like it's going to make a really nice build once it's done. Fingers crossed. I hope I get to do a van tour of it once he's finished. Right. So as you can see, this is dried now. Right. So we've now put the trim on around the window with the aperture now what I've got to do is I need to put the sealant gunk 
on the window and lift the window into place. Once I've done that, I'm gonna come back to you and show you exactly what it looks like. But first of all, what I'm gonna do is put some tape up here, along here. So once the window's in, we can tape it down. Right, so there you go, that window's in. Some of you might be thinking, I've gone overkill with the tape. Well, there is a reason for that because this van is actually going back with the customer a bit later. The recommended time these windows should be fitted before driven is four hours. It's gonna be past that by the time he actually drives this, but I still wanna be safe. He's gonna take it with him tonight take it back with him and I've said to him take the tape off in the morning and it should be perfectly sealed so we'll take this off now now I need to do exactly the same with this side but on this side the reason we took this window out is having an opening window because his kitchen is going to sit behind this window and he needs some ventilation when you're cooking boiling a kettle or whatever I need to wipe around the edge of the aperture with this and also round the window where I'm going to put the primer and the sealant on. I'm very high up so we're back on the roof of the van we're going to be fitting the max van in the front today today i'm doing it all today right so in this aperture near the front the customer wants his max fan max air fan whatever you want to call it so before we can fit the van I've got to fill these little gaps up here with this beautiful tape. Sticky old stuff this is, I can tell you. I'm going to take this off in manageable strips.
Now for the reveal. Right, so that's the Max Air fan now in. Um, the customer, I guess, is going to wire this one up himself. I'm literally just tasked with fitting it. And now we've got to do the hakey in the back. Right, so as you can see, the Max Air fan is now fitted. We're now on the hakey. And we're on the home straight. <laughs> Right, so that's the hay key in place. I did the reveal, thinking the camera was running, but it wasn't. So anyway, I've now, I've placed this in, but what I've got to do is go and put the flange on the inside, and it screws from the inside, and clamps this to the roof. I've had to build a frame to do that. I'll show you what I've done there. But unlike the Max Air fan, this is screwed from the inside, not the top side. So that's the temporary wooden frame I've actually made for this. Because the customer hasn't got the roofing yet or the ceiling. And I don't want to start cutting the inside flange and cut it to the wrong size. So I'm making a temporary frame like that, put on the inside to be able to use the original screws, which leaves it then for the customer to cut this down to his own size. Right. I've got to hold that, that up, and screw it in place, which is going to be quite difficult. I can have a go. slight bit of an issue this is slightly too thick so what I'm gonna do is take this to the table saw cut it down and I'll be back with you shortly right so I've managed to put it up there I've actually taken off about 10 mil well that's no, not even that it's about 5 mil to be honest with you so I can get these screws in and it's clamping it down on the roof And I'll explain to the customer that what I've done and that when he fits his new ceiling in, he'll need to cut this down to meet for this edge here to meet the ceiling. And there's obviously another cover to go on here, which has got a fly net in and a blind to take out the light. Right, so there you have it. Two skylights, one hole cut for one window, one window removed, cleaned up, and put a new one in. 
So can I fit two skylights and two windows in one day? Yes, I can. A little bit of a stretch, but I've done it. I'm well happy with that. And considering we never started to about half past nine, I think it was, um, we've had a good day. And that's another job done in Built Not Bought Workshop. I hope you've had a good day. I hope you're having a good weekend, as it is the weekend. I hope you're staying safe, hope you're staying well, and most of all, staying very happy, and it's bye for now. Mm -hmm.